Hi again, a uh, quick update on this project. I I found out I had uh, some problems in the code because I wanted to add this other feature. My project I have in mind requires a, uh, a switch, uh, some kind of control to toggle that uh, that throbbing, the breathing light indicator on and off. So I got that working, but I had to change the code quite a bit because I was doing something wrong uh, with the, the timer interrupts that run these lights. And it was swamping out the CPU. It was so busy uh, worrying about the lights that it wasn't paying attention to the push button, so nothing would happen. Uh, but now I've got that worked out. Uh, I'll put a code update on uh, jerrypalmer.com uh, so you can see what that's like and I'll give a quick uh, explanation of the changes I had to make and why. Okay, quickly, uh, you can you can read through this and compare it to the uh, the old version. You'll you'll notice that uh, the div interval constant is was 300, now it's 10. Uh, also lowered the uh, the number that we count up to. Uh, in uh, our capture compare register zero, it's now 512 instead of instead of uh, 1024. But this was a big deal right here. This we were doing uh, div interval of 300, which meant that our serve our uh, interrupt service request would only process every 300th run, uh, every every 300th. Uh, interrupt flag. So we were able to reduce that to 10. Now every tenth interrupt it runs. Um, we also changed this to timer A0 vector. We were at timer A1 vector before and timer A1 vector, the interrupt for timer A1 vector, has to do with... well let me back up. There's There's uh, a very high priority interrupt that happens on this register, uh, Capture Compare R0, when it counts all the way up to count whatever you set this to. When it gets all the way up to the top and then rolls over and starts counting at zero again, it throws up an interrupt flag. That's got a higher priority than the way I was doing it before at timer A1, that uh, interrupt is uh, for everything else, for register 1 here and, uh, and a few other things. It was before it would uh, throw an interrupt every time it counted up to this lower limit. And uh, for some reason it was it was doing that a lot more frequently than it is now and and what i found was that when i enter when i uh when i put in this isr for port 1 this is this is my push button i configured all my my button and uh put a little mechanical switch in there and debounced it so that it would toggle uh toggle that timer on and off and uh, and blank the lights out, so I wanted it to just stop and go to sleep. But the way we were catching that interrupt before off of this register, it was so busy doing that it wasn't able to pay attention. It would it would miss the button pushes, uh, or just miss them altogether. I couldn't make it work until I did some more reading and saw that I could try to get the interrupt from register zero instead of the higher priority one and I don't uh, I'm still not sure why the the difference in frequency like div interval 10 versus 300 that we had before I'm still a little unclear on why that is because every time this thing counts up it's gonna hit this lower limit in register 1 and it just keeps on counting, rolls over to zero. This thing gets incremented 
every time it's... Oh, I might have just answered my own question there. That interrupt would trip when we hit lower limit. It would run the, the old service request for timer A1. We would get in here and we would increment, where is it? Right. We would increment register one by step interval, which was five at the time. So we'd increment that and then go back to what we were doing. We'd resume counting and then lower limit was five it, it was lower it was uh, huh yeah that incremented by five so it would count five more and run into that again run the interrupt service request increment this register by five resume counting hit that new limit plus five do it again so it was <laughs> cute it was running it, it was it was getting that interrupt for this register many many times in one count sequence instead of this counting all the way up to the top before it uh, threw that interrupt again this one would be incremented from whatever level it was at by five, we'd resume counting and hit the new limit here, throw another interrupt, and all over again. It was and it was doing the same thing on the way down too. Wow, I just figured that out live. <laughs> so now we catch this interrupt and uh that that Div interval is ten. I mean, a big difference. Big difference. So it uh, the the overall effect. I'll just wrap it up here. the The effect of which is uh, the CPU is a lot less busy because it's not updating and throwing flags and updating and throwing flags and updating and throwing flags uh, nearly as often by by orders of magnitude. Um, according to this. So I had to adjust these timings to make the appearance of it look sort of the same as I had it before, but the uh, that enabled me to put uh, all this push button stuff in and get interrupts working for uh, the general uh, I.O. pins on port 1. Toggle switch works every time, shuts the timer off, turns the timer back on. Alright, well, I'm going to keep uh, keep moving forward with this thing. It's been, uh, it's been a, a pretty great experience so far. Hopefully it'll save you guys some pain if you start working with this, uh, with this little board or with the MSP430. Thanks a lot. Talk again soon.